This commercial is hilarious, right? Like just simplicity. And we're back in Box Fortress, but this time I got my laptop with me. Also not sponsored by uh, Kirkland Signature. I am uh, probably one of the biggest Costco fans on the planet. They're not sponsoring today's video, but you know who is? Mighty Boards. And what's awesome is Mark, the owner, he actually reached out and sent me a link to this really funny commercial by Benjamin Moore. And it's all about paint matching, more specifically, color matching. So we're gonna watch this video together. I have seen one version of this commercial and it has a guy with a beard, so obviously it really resonated with me. But what I wanted to do was go through it with you in real time, talk about it, talk about matching, coming from a person that used to do them himself because sometimes it doesn't really go as well as you think. So let's uh, go ahead and watch it together. Max and Kim fell in love with the Benjamin Moore color, Van Dusen Blue, but they tried to match it. Okay, I gotta stop it right there. First of all, that is not Van Deuce in blue. All right, you can even see the chip right there. That is way too vibrant, way too Toronto Maple Leafs blue. Yeah, I already know where this is going. <laughs> Using another brand's paint. Well, it's different. <laughs> so good. So one of the main reasons that people get matches done in the first place is maybe they fall in love with a paint color from one company, but their painter or themselves, they use a different company just because that's what they've been using. And a lot of people, they just stick to what they know. So this couple, this wonderfully charming couple, they loved Van Deuce and Blue, but for whatever reason, they got it matched into another company's paint. And now they're left with this. But it'll grow on us, right? Yeah. <laughs> so sad. Oh man, okay. You know what? I'm sure a lot of us have been in this situation where you get a color match done and I mean, it's blue, right? It's a dark, deep navy blue, but then you finish painting it, right? And you put all the paint on the wall, all their furniture looks like it's back in place. And then you just convince yourself that it's fine. <laughs> like it's gonna be okay. You're gonna get used to it. And if you don't, then maybe, you know, you'll change it to the correct color. Yeah. So sad. Oh. <laughs> Never trust another paint to be a Benjamin Moore Oh color. man. Well, there you have it. <laughs> a significant amount of time has passed and that blue is still there. So let's talk about the color matching process in general. So a lot of paint companies, they do it different ways, but when you have a paint chip like the one this gentleman had in the video from a company like Benjamin Moore, most paint stores have crossover formulas where they can just type in that color and it'll pump out a formula in their product. And it's something that I'm familiar with doing. It's a really fast, pretty much automated process. But I remember when I used to work at one of the paint people locations, we would always double check the crossover formula. So we would mix that color match, we would then compare it to the actual color, to the actual color chip, and then make micro adjustments to make sure it's as close as possible. But that's the thing. It's going to be as close as possible, but we can never guarantee it's gonna be exactly the same. And that's the risk you take whenever you're doing a color match. It's gonna be good enough, right, for most people. What is good enough what you're looking for or have you fallen in love with that particular color that you're matching. If they had a mighty board on hand where they could have painted whatever color this was on a big swatch and then compared it to actual Van Deuce and Blue on another swatch, they would clearly see the vast difference between the two. It's a big difference. They're both dark blue with an entirely different aesthetic. But as soon as you test your colors with mighty boards, you get a massive size sample to work with. It allows you to really interpret the color on a much larger scale. And if your local paint store doesn't have mighty boards, talk to the owner and tell them to reach out to the owner of mighty boards, Mark, who's a great guy, convince him to carry some mighty boards because they are a lifesaver. So if the color matching process isn't really guaranteed, you don't really know what you're gonna end up with, what are your options? Well, the first option is you just go with the Benjamin Moore in this case. You buy the paint that matches the paint color you're looking at. It's your surefire way to have a color that's gonna be accurate, right? There's not gonna be any room for error or little deviations. The color is the color. But if you were set, on using another company's paint, 
with another company's color, my recommendation is just trying to find the closest match, right? If you really loved a Farrowin Ball Red, but you wanted to use it in a Benjamin Moore product, for example, then just try and find the closest red in Benjamin Moore. So then you actually have a swatch that you can really refer to rather than just guessing or assuming the match is gonna work. Cause a lot of the times it's just close, right? It's not gonna be spot on. This commercial is hilarious, right? Like just simplicity, really just very carefully acted, just very human people, like very relatable. Don't ever settle. Don't assume, oh, it'll grow on us. Make sure you get it right from the beginning. Later.